Hello, and thank you for joining another episode of Let's Talk About It. My name is Emmanuel. I am with the Delaware Development of Disabilities Council. Today, I have the pleasure of sitting down with Kristen Harvey, the Executive Director for the Council, and Marcella from... Saborio. Saborio. Yes. Um, Good job. So thank you both for joining me. A pleasure. Thanks for handling this, Emmanuel. Thank you for having me also. I appreciate it. So before I get into our topic today, which we are going to be talking about the five-year strategic plan for the council and how important that is and what it is and how the community can get involved. Kristen, can you tell me a little bit more about the council for people that don't know who we are and what we do? Absolutely. Talking about the council is my favorite thing to do. Um, so the Developmental Disabilities Council here in Delaware is one of 56 councils. Every state in U.S. territory actually has a council. Um, we're fortunate here in Delaware that we're small so that we can all get together pretty frequently. Um, we have got 23 big-hearted members who are wonderful advocates. 60% um, of our membership has to be made up of individuals with disabilities or their parents slash caregivers. And there are a whole bunch of criteria around that that are established by the um, Federal Developmental Disabilities Assistance and Bill of Rights Act of 2000. And indeed, that guides all of our work, all the work that we do. Um, councils are kind of the conveners. That is our role. It is our role to be that resource for people with developmental disabilities in the, count, in the um, community and for their parents and families. So um, we, we strive really hard to um, conduct community outreach, to let people know that we're here to listen, we're here to provide resources. Um, and that is about all I have to say about that for now, amazingly. And right now the uh, council is working with Ms. Marcel, uh, Marcellus. Uh, as the contractor. Can you tell us a little bit about your background, your company, and how you got involved with the council to, to be part of this great process? Sure. So my name is Marcella Severio, and I'm, I'm president of Qual Marketing. And I'm just just to give you a little bit of background, in addition to being a professional, I'm also a mother of a son who has special needs. So this, this topic is very dear to my heart. And uh, when I saw the opportunity to work with the DC, I absolutely jumped on it. And I'm very excited to be working uh, with the DC to help with the whole information gathering process. And Emmanuel, if you don't mind, if, if I can take a moment, quería hablar con la Latina comunidad. Y también quería introducir a Kristen Harvey, que es ejecutiva directora de DDC. Y uh, if, if Manuel, if you don't mind, I'm also just going to give the, uh, the Latinos just a little bit of what uh, Kristen said. I'm not going to uh, be able to translate word for word, but just to give a highlight. Um, el Concilio de Discapacidades del Desarrollo de Delaware, o DDC, ayuda a abordar las necesidades insatisfechas de las personas con discapacidades del desarrollo a través de proyectos de demostración, planificación y defensa de todos los sistemas. Entonces, Cristina estaba hablando de, de, de qué, uh, del proyecto que estamos haciendo ahorita y los planes de la estrategia de 2022 hasta 2026. Thank I'll you. just throw in some Spanish words and maybe we'll learn, uh, have a Spanish class at the same time. <laughs> I wow. took seven years of Spanish, so I pick up a little bit of something, but I could no way speak it so fluently, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much uh, for telling us a little bit about your background, but especially sharing with the, the Latino community um, to be able to share that information with them. And we'll get into a little bit more as we go along, how the community can get involved and why that is so important to the development of the five-year state plan 
for the council to continue their work for the next five years. Um, so as we talk about a five years state plan, Kristen, what is a five year state plan and why is that so important for the council to have a five year state plan? So it's not only important, it's required. So the Developmental Disabilities Bill of Rights and Assistance Assistance and Bill of Rights. I always get it backwards. I'm sorry. The DD Act, colloquially speaking, moving forward, um, requires that all councils submit and have approved a five year strategic plan. And within that plan, uh, per the DD Act, there are areas of emphasis that the council has to consider. Um, and those include self advocacy, education and early intervention, health care, housing formal and informal community supports, interagency collaboration, and employment, to name a few. Um, the council's five-year state plan or strategic plan, those are interchangeable terms. Um, all work done by the council is guided by our state plan. So the council is federally funded, but we are a state agency. Um, so if someone has a project idea, we have the first thing we're going to say is, where does that fit in with our, with our state plan? Um, the state plan is developed using a variety of different methods of public input. So the goal is to have it truly reflect the needs of Delawareans with developmental disabilities and their families and caregivers, um, and to fund projects that are in line with that as well. So the strategic plan is really where it's at. It's, it's a heavy lift at the beginning, especially. Um, we do update it every year. Um, updates are generally not required to go out for public uh, comment, but if we're going to do something major, like add a goal or an objective, then we'll need to go out, um, again, for public comment. As you might imagine, the most important part of any state plan for the DDC is the self-advocacy goal and objective. Um, it's not only important, again, that's required. It's required that we have a self-advocacy um, goal. And another thing that we need to focus on is what's called targeted disparity. And I know Emmanuel's tired of hearing me talk about it like this, but if you picture an onion, um, and the onion being the state of Delaware, peel back a layer, Delawareans with disabilities, peel back another layer, Delawareans with developmental disabilities, and then down, 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 until you come up with a very specific group of individuals. Um, so we are really looking for the public to tell us, who are those individuals that you feel are unserved or underserved here in the state of Delaware? Who are we not reaching? Um, and, and how do we reach? those individuals. So we really need the public's help, need, need and want a public's help. It almost, uh, it almost sounds like you really can't develop the five-year state plan without feedback from the community because you want the community input to kind of drive the work of the council for the next five, five years. Absolutely. A, so, um, if I may, Manuel, if I can translate that just to give the highlights uh, for the, 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 the Latinos, because I know that they're one of the target groups that we're, mm -hmm. we're hoping to reach. Entonces, quería traducir que dijo Kristen, porque, la pregunta fue, ¿por qué están obligados a tener un plan de cinco años? Y la, ella que respondió que la ley de DD dice que cualquier estado necesita, de, de, que desea recibir asistencia sobre fondos, deberá presentar un plan de cinco años. Entonces, ahora están en el proceso de planificar su estrategia para, el, para los próximos cinco años, que son de 2022 hasta 2026. Y ella uh, nombró las áreas de emphasis. And if you don't mind, Kristen, I'm just going to go down the areas of emphasis, que son autodefensa, educación y interferencia temprana, cuidado de la salud, viviendas, apoyos comunitarios formales y informales, colaboración de, entre agencias y empleo. Y también ella habló que ellos están tratando con este plan 
a conectar con gente que no, las voces no están siempre representadas. Entonces, ella está hablando que ellos quieren pensar con la, con la población grande y llegar poquito a poquito para identificar exactamente quién necesita esos servicios que no están recibiendo esos servicios ahora. Y por eso, su, las voces de ustedes, particularmente la gente latina, es muy importante. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Kristen, I heard you say something uh, that kind of stuck, stuck, stuck out to me. And that was the, the feedback and the community involvement and how you, or how we need that feedback to, to drive the development of the plan. So how can one from the community, or what are the different ways that one can get involved to provide that feedback and you know, describe some of the avenues to be able to, to get that feedback and to, to share it with the council so the council can consider it as they develop their next five year plan? Sure. So um, thank you for asking that question. And it's such an important one because, um, you know, it's not our job as a council to say, here's what we think based on our limited worldview. Here's what we think is important. Now come and get it. That is the opposite of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to say, okay, we know a little bit um, about what's important to us, but what is important to you community, particularly the community that's outside of our little bubble? Um, what's your reality? What's your life look like? What are your challenges? Um, that's the best way to go about building a good strategic plan. Um, and it's really an enlightening process too, to be able to go out and meet people we've never met before, hear their concerns, and to be able to help, be able to fund projects through our strategic plan that can help with that. Um, so some of the immediate ways that you can help provide your feedback, we do have focus groups coming up. Um, those will be on August the 24th, 26th, and 28th from 10 to 12 on, on Zoom. And, um, Anyone who would like to be invited to one of those should reach out to our partner, Ed Perez at Independent Resources. And that is E-P-R-E-Z at I-R-I-D-E dot org. And I believe Emmanuel will, will put that in the um, description. Also, we have a series of public forums. Those will be coming up next month in September so September 15th, 17th, and 22nd um, from 4 to 6 p.m. I should note the difference between the focus groups and the public forums is focus groups are by invitation only. Um, the purpose of that is to kind of pick the brains, for lack of a better word, of, um, of established advocates who we know. So they can tell us which areas of emphasis do they think are important then we can take that on the road to the public and see if that if we're going in the right direction. Um, so public forums, like I said, 15th, 17th, 22nd, 4 to 6 p.m., those are um, online on Zoom. And anyone who would like to um, attend one of those can reach out to Marcella um, and we'll provide her <laughs> email address in, in, as well in the description on YouTube. Um, we also have a survey open right now and you can find that survey on our website which is ddc.delaware.gov please 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 tell everyone about the survey please take the survey we want to know what you think it's so important it's so so important um you can always call or email us at the ddc that's what we're here for um, our main line number is 302-739 Three 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 three. Give us a call. We'll do our best to help, not just with this, but whatever it is that's on your mind. And Emmanuel would absolutely skin me alive if I did not say that uh, you, you can also tweet or post on social media at um, hashtag tell D E D D C. Again, hashtag tell D E D D C. 
that'll put all of the information into one spot so that as we're scrolling our social media, we can see your feedback. And then, and then my, my yeah, if I may, yes. So Sorry, I'll, I'll again, I'll, I'll give a little bit of a summary. Um, but I, but, but uh, as a, uh, hablar de la pregunta que hizo Emmanuel, ¿cómo puede la comunidad dar sus opiniones sobre el desarrollo del plan y por qué es importante que el se reciba estas opiniones mientras continúan su trabajo durante los próximos cinco años? Y que estaba contestando Kristen es que el, el plan de ellos no es hacer un plan y presentarlo al público y el público a, a, a tener los servicios. Para ellos es muy importante que el plan es de la gente, es de que sus voces y es de sus voces y de sus opiniones estos que contribuyen para hacer el, su plan. Entonces ellos están utilizando varios métodos para obtener opiniones, incluyendo foros públicos, encuestas y redes sociales. Tienen un hashtag de tell d -E -D, como Delaware. Uh, Perdón, es hashtag tell Delaware. Uh, D E D D C. So hashtag tell D E D D C. Y ustedes usan ese hashtag, eso es otro método que ellos usan para poner toda la información juntas. Es muy importante que el DDC continúe recibiendo sus opiniones para los próximos cinco años, incluyendo cuando terminas este plan, porque tus, tus necesarios. Es muy importante que ellos lo sepan si están trabajando o no están trabajando para que ellos puedan hacer los cambios. Otra cosa que Kristen estaba hablando es que van a tener foros públicos eh, viendo el septiembre. Entonces, eh, Manuel van a poner toda la información en la descripción para YouTube para que ustedes puedan tener todos los contactos y los, eh, las fechas las, y los datos, pero para que lo sepan, el, el septiembre, uh, martes el 15 de septiembre de 4 a 6 en la tarde, el jueves 17 de septiembre de 4 a 6 de la tarde y también el martes el 22 de septiembre de 4 a 6 de la tarde. Todo va a ser Zoom, muy fácil para registrar. Me, nos, nos, nos contacta, me puedes contactar a mí y, y con, con mucho gusto nos, nosotros registramos y para proteger tu voz. Por favor, registra. Usan el, el encuesta, usan los, los redes sociales. Es muy importante para que ellos puedan oír tus voces. Thank you so much. And just to show how important the public forums are and how they um, work, I know the last time we developed our five year state plan, one of the individuals that came to our public forums to provide. I believe it was card services. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of those member, one of those individuals are now a member of the council, just by coming to provide a service to that public forum. So even though she was there to provide a service, she gained knowledge on what the council was, how important the council was. And now that person is at the you know, table for the council meeting. So it's not a only, wonderful voice for the council. Yep. So, so not only is it a chance to provide feedback, but to really become part of that circle as you you refer to a lot, as a you know, become part of the circle, but to not only become a part of it, but to expand that circle and make it grow to be able to serve uh, individuals in Delaware and across the country as we continue our work here in Delaware. Um, and you so, know, oh, if I can just interject really quick, Emmanuel, it's, it's difficult. I say my favorite thing to do is to talk about the council and that is true. Um, everyone who works for or with the council, this work is their heart. It's not just a job, it's not just a position. Um, they're there for a reason and so it's, it would be almost impossible for me, no matter how much I like to talk about the council, to fully encompass everything that, that they do, that the staff does, that the council does, um, the many ways that we work to improve people's lives, legislation, projects, advocacy, bringing people together, 
educating and training. Um, as Emmanuel said, you know, we, we got one of our, our very best council members from a public forum because she heard us talk about, you know, what exactly it is that we do. Um, I guess the point I'm trying to make from that is we're friendly. Um, <laughs> we really are friendly. We're friendly. Our meetings are open to the public. We meet every month and we vary between um, morning and evening meetings. You can find out more about our meetings on our website, Delaware, ddc.delaware.gov. Um, and come, come hang out with us for a while. We, we do give members of the public a chance to speak. Um, it's not a super formal process. Um, the only difference between being a member of the public and being on the council is, of course, councils have a vote. So the council votes for projects. The council votes to select contractors, such as our wonderful Marcella. They vote on the budget. Um, and they um, also supervise and evaluate me, the executive director. So um, come, come talk to us. Sorry, Emmanuel, I'm off script. <laughs> no, no, this is, this is great. And I, um, hey, but you see, if I, if I, yeah, if I may say, because yeah. I think it's a very important point, um, para la gente latina, que está hablando Emmanuel es que una persona vino de una de las juntas y después de eso, de, 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 hizo tanto interés que hizo parte del círculo de DDC. Y Chris está hablando que debe ser está abierto para el público. Si, ellos tienen juntas por la mañana, ellos tienen juntas por la noche. Entonces, si tú quieres ir a una o, o todos los juntas, es, todos están bienvenidos. Y la única diferencia de ser parte de concilio o, o solamente venir a, a, a las juntas es que ser parte de concilio uno tiene que tener una aplicación y ellos pueden votar. Es la única diferencia, pero si ustedes quieren tener sus voz o oír qué está pasando, por favor, vengan a las juntas. Y toda la información, all the information is on the web, correct? In terms of your meetings. Yes. Toda la información está en, en la página del web. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, so um, Kristen. Um, yes. You know, I heard you say uh, public forums and how they're more open to the public and you don't need an invitation, but how can one, um, I know there's multiple ones, uh, you mentioned multiple dates. Uh, can, you tell, can you talk about how you're dividing those up into counties and how one must register for that? Sure, absolutely. And for the registration question, I'm going to defer to you and to Marcella, um, because registration for the public forums is being handled by Marcella. Um, so individuals, um, we, one thing we need to be sure that we're doing as we develop the strategic plan is not only that it's a culturally and linguistically competent plan, but that it also represents the full geography of our tiny little state of Delaware. So as anyone who's a lifelong Delawarean knows, there are vast differences between Newcastle County and Sussex County. Um, and there are vast differences in levels of access to services, um, the people who live there, what, what are their priorities, what are their backgrounds. So that's why we're seeking people from, <clears throat> from a variety of counties in each of these um, public forum sessions. We want to be sure that every Delawarean has a chance to provide their input. So, so Mar well, I'll talk, yeah, I'll talk about the registration part. Go ahead. Um, so Emmanuel, in addition to being the host of this video, he's actually also head of the marketing for uh, the DDC efforts. And it's been a pleasure working with Emmanuel. And he is actually, uh, we worked together and developed a registration page that is going to, correct me if I'm wrong, Emmanuel, it's going to live on our, the website, the DDC website, yeah. as well as be available through Facebook. And mm -hmm. so you'll find links, links through your social media, as well as on the website. And you may ask a question, why is it important to register? Well, it's very important because it's very important to the DC to make sure that we're uh, not only, as, as Kristen mentioned, getting representation throughout the state, but also that if people are coming from different uh, parts of life. Are you an advocate 
Are you a teacher? Are you a, an agency professional? Are you a health healthcare worker? Everybody comes in with their own point of view and, and DDC wants to hear all of it. So that's part of the information that we want to capture as well as if there's any spe uh, special needs that you might have or aids that you require that will absolutely be made available to you. And so uh, just to uh, reiterate what Kristen said, so Monday, uh, uh, sorry, Tuesday the, the 15th will be dedicated to Newcastle. Uh, the 17th is for Kent County and the 22nd is for Sussex. Now, having said that, if you cannot make a date that falls in your county, please do not let that deter you. Please still register for a date that works for you. So if, and I, I'm gonna say it in Spanish, if you don't mind. Oh, <laughs> no, that. I love this. Thank you so much for doing this for us. So now I'm gonna forget a little bit of what you said, you, you started with, but um, una de las, las preguntas que ellos tienen es, es cómo pueden representar el, todo el estado de Delaware. Entonces, cómo hicieron los uh, foros públicos, es cada día representa un county. Entonces, para el martes, el 15 de, 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 de septiembre, es para Newcastle. El jueves del 17 de septiembre es para Kent County. Y el 22 de septiembre es para Sussex County. Y digo eso sabiendo que si tú no puedes tener la fecha que es tu propio county, por favor, registre para cualquier día que es importante, que es, que es para ti. Y la registración va a estar en la página de, de, del DDC. También van a estar en redes sociales, en Facebook. Entonces van a tener, poder tener links para registrar. ¿Y por qué es importante registrar? Es porque ellos quieren saber la, de, de qué parte de vida vienes, por, en qué, qué es tu perspectiva. Si tienes, un, tienes un, hijos que tienen des, discapacidades, es un educador, tienes una agencia, de cualquier aspecto que ustedes vienen, ellos quieren estar, saber que todos están representados y tienen una voz en la mesa. Pues, I turn it over. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. So, um, so when you, well, I'm not, I got like one more question, but I, I want to make sure that we connect with the community as far as you know, you mentioned breaking it up in the county and that one can join, you know, their specific county, how how they're still available to to join, you know, the public forums. Um, but when it comes to when it comes to one providing the feedback and I and I know we didn't go into detail, but the the survey, you know, we mentioned the survey and how one can participate in that. For people that are skeptical of taking surveys, because people hear the word survey, they're like, I don't want to, you know, do the survey. It's going to be too long. Mm -hmm. yeah, too long. Well, we worked very hard to make sure it wasn't too long. <laughs> Marcella, <laughs> Marcella was great with that. Like, um, I don't think it needs to be a little short. <laughs> but not only long, but you got people that don't want to provide, like, the demographical information, um, you know, what would you say to someone that is skeptical on taking that survey? And I know we got into why it's important, but if you had one more final word for the community to take advantage of the survey, what would you say and just relay it to them? So taking, participating in the survey, it's almost like what people, you know, you hear people say all the time, if you don't vote, don't complain, or if you don't take, you know, participate in the census, how is everyone going to know who you are, where you are? Um, much like those things, participation in the survey is going to help the DDC determine where our funding goes. What projects get funded? What is a priority um, for the council based on the largest number of individuals who have told us that that's a priority through the state of Delaware? Um, we've already spoken a little bit with some of our leadership and you know, education and early intervention has risen to the tops. Of course, self-advocacy, housing. Housing is a crisis here in Delaware. The, the lack of affordable, accessible housing is an absolute crisis, and it has been and it will continue to be. 
Um, and we know these things because we are out in the community, we're holding these, you know, discussions and people are telling us this. We can't know if you don't tell us. Um, we're pretty darn good, but we don't have ESP yet. Um, we cannot read everyone's mind much as I wish I could. Um, we want to hear your stories. We want your feedback. We want to meet you. Um, if you're concerned about confidentiality, the surveys do not have your name. Um, and if you are wondering maybe why someone, why we're asking some of the questions, um, this is to help us report to our federal granting agency, which again, informs funding. So Delaware is what's called a minimal allotment state as far as our grant, um, in that it's based on our per capita. So how many, how many um, residents are there in the state of Delaware? There's less than a million. Um, we have, I think, the second smallest um, population in the United States and its territories. But providing your feedback, telling us who you are, where you are, what's important to you, what's your background, that helps us give a much clearer picture to our federal granting agency um, and to federal health and human services and helps us to do a good job. Um, we don't wanna make a plan that's just something that we thought was a good idea without asking anyone. Um, we really wanna know what's important to you and the survey and the public forums, those are a way to tell us. Um, once the plan is done in draft form, it will go back out for other public forums, for people to give us their feedback and say, whoa, wait, that's way off the mark. That's not what we meant. Um, you know, hey, how about this? You forgot about this. Um, so there's plenty of, it's a year long process for which Marcella is <laughs> doing a great job keeping us on track. Um, so it's plenty of time to talk to us and please, please do. Um, if you have any questions about why we're asking you a particular question or you are having a difficult time um, filling out the survey for whatever reason, you can always call our office, 302-739-3333, um, and we will answer your question or provide assistance as we can. So please reach out to us. We really, really want to hear from you. Wow. Marcel? Yes. So uh, and I think that's very important. And also we have a partner that's working with us, Independent Resources, Inc. So um, if there, just to reiterate what Kristen, what you were saying, that if you need help or support um, and for some reason can't either access a survey or just need help going through the survey, there are people here that will, will help you throughout the, the entire process. Y para que la gente que no puedan, uh, que no puedan uh, leer en inglés, por favor sepan que vamos a tener una encuesta en español. So we'll have a, a Spanish survey that will be available soon. Um, currently, the uh, English version of the survey is live, right, Emmanuel? And it is available on, on the website. Yes. So uh, it is right now open. It is going to remain open. Uh, all the way, at least through to the end of the year. Uh, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Kristen. So, um, you know, at any point, uh, it's really uh, shouldn't take you more than three minutes. I think it was that we timed it at. So mm -hmm. it's not a very long survey, but it's a very important. Para estilo en español, la pregunta fue por qué hacer la encuesta y para la gente que mejor tienen miedo o por, preguntando que no quieren dar su información no, no, no saben que, por qué deben hacer la encuesta la encuesta es como y, y Kristen como dijo es como teniendo un, un bote si tú no tú no votas tú no puedes decir por qué los servicios no están uh, 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 listos para ustedes entonces la encuesta es una métoda que ellos usan para tener información para, que, para saber qué van a poner en su plan. Entonces, es muy importante. Tú no necesitas tu nombre, tu, tu nombre de tu, de, de tu número. Ellos no van a vender tu información. Es solamente para los ojos de la gente de DDC. Entonces, es muy importante para poder, si no pueden hacer la encuesta, uh, o, o por, por favor, participen en un, un foro público. 
Y también, si tú necesitas ayuda, si no pueden a, a, a acceder el link o necesitan ayuda para, para, para hacer la, la, las respuestas, hay dos maneras que uno puede hacer ayuda. Uno es que el DDC, y por favor, Kristen, if you can give the number again, el número para el DDC es... Um, 302-302-739-739-3333. Y la otra métoda es, uh, tenemos uh, el Independent Resources Inc. que también están capacidades para ayudarlos. Entonces, por favor, tengan tres minutos, solamente es tres minutos para las preguntas. This has been a this has been a fantastic conversation. I want to thank you both for joining me for this episode. And as I always say to my YouTube fans, out there, <laughs> make sure you uh like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode of Let's Talk About It. Again, my name is Emmanuel. I am with the Delaware Developmental Disabilities Council. Today we had Crystal Harvey, the executive director. And we had Marcella Saburo with us. Rio, Saborio. <laughs> Rio. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel. And to all of you out there in the cyber world, we hope to talk to you soon. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye. Adios.